kids, welcome to Funky Science. I'm Professor TJ and my assistant is... Kali! Yay! And today we have an interesting experiment for you. But first, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Before we start the experiment, I will tell you something about what we are about to do. This experiment is an absolutely awesome way to learn about air pressure. The interesting thing is, you probably have everything that you already need. In this experiment, you will need an egg or two, plastic bottle, a plate, and food color. And remember kids, always have an adult present as you're doing this experiment. Yes, all the time. So, Cory. Yes. Ready to start? Yes. So, hold this bottle. Then I'm going to crack the egg. Yeah. Let's crack the egg. And be careful not to break the yolk. There we go. No, it's still intact. Ew. Ew. Yeah. So, then I'm going to take some food color. And sprinkle around. Okay. 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 So pass me the bottle, Cory. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Then I'm going to take the bottle, squeeze it on top of the egg, then lick it. <gasps> what did you just do? I do it again. Yes. Okay. The reason you can pick your yolk up with your bottle has to do with air pressure. When you squeeze the bottle initially, you push some of the air out. When you put the bottle on top of the egg yolk, this seals the remaining air in. As you release your grip, the bottle expands and returns to its normal size. But no more air can rush in as the yolk is in the way. This means you've got the same amount of air in a bigger space, so the pressure will be lower. As the pressure outside of the yolk is higher, it is this higher pressure that pushes the yolk into the bottle. I hope you at home were able to do this experiment. This is all we have for you today. See you next time on Funky Science. Bye! Bye.